3.30 Neo um, and what appears to be 3.50 perhaps Three twenty Neo, three nineteen Neo, possibly three thirty Neo, and then the three fifty, um, and then so. And here comes the um, Beluga following it. So we will be joined at some point by the three eighty, of course, and the two twenty, which is going to be good to see. So good morning ladies and gents, uh, if you're just tuning in, we are live from Toulouse in southern France, of course celebrating 50 years of collaboration between um, five nations, Britain, France, Germany and Spain. Um, China getting involved in the, uh, in the exercise as well, not in this exercise, but getting involved in the uh, Airbus collaboration at some point. We do have a helicopter. And there's the 380 just um, making its way up now. Good to see that the aircraft are uh, are taxiing up this way because obviously, um, yeah, 380 is making his way up the back, yeah. So interesting to see that the, uh, the aircraft are taxiing up in this direction, but uh, what is interesting uh, from an Eng from the British perspective is that uh, in the early days of uh, the Airbus collaboration when they first signed the, f the, uh, the agreements um, taking on the likes of Boeing of course and um, McDonnell Douglas um, Britain actually uh, wanted to pull out of the, uh, the agreement because they felt that the A300 was uh, the, the number of um, deliveries that that that, that uh, the partners all put on themselves was actually uh, too much for them to handle. So, um, but it all carried on, and uh, in fact, it was actually France as well who wanted to pull out. So, anyway. 50 years on and we have a uh, highly successful aircraft manufacturer of course the Beluga XL as you can see um, in the formation in front of the A380 the aircraft that um, delivers all the um, individual components the wings and uh, segments of the aircraft for the final assembly here in Toulouse. One of the most successful aircraft uh, on the planet right now of course the A350 and uh, another fantastic aircraft um, that we're seeing more of these days the A330neo based on the highly successful <laughs> A330 program so they've just um, revised the, um, it's actually led by a 220. That's good, that's good. Interesting, okay. A220 of course, um, originally the um, Bombardier CS 220, 200 and 300, uh, 300 variants powered by the Pratt & Whitney PW engines looks like a 319 Neo
course, powered by the um, that as well, um, powered by a Pratt and Whitney power plant, which is interesting to see because that is uh, normally the um, Airbus A330 Neo revised Trent Seven engine. Great looking aircraft, all carbon wingtip. Yeah, interesting to see, like I said, like I was saying, um, that the uh, 319 there, um, uh, normally powered by the Leap 1A, but obviously given the option for the Pratt & Whitney engine, um, as opposed to, so, so, so maybe they're offering uh, the variant with both the Pratt & Whitney and of course the, um, the Leap shot of that so now they will that's just the parade they will now taxi all the way down and uh, depart towards us now at some point in time I'd imagine that the um, the display team hello mate <laughs> patrol de France um, will at some point Make their way out from uh, from whence these uh, aircraft came. I believe they were uh, stationed here overnight. Yeah, somebody mentioning about the 340 not being in the lineup. Indeed. Great shame. Would have been good to see. Yeah, it's definitely a 319, isn't it?
So we're probably going to be getting some spectacular shots from the uh, from the chopper, I'd imagine. Right down that line up. Of course, the Beluga XL um, able now to carry two sets of A350 wings as opposed to one set. So uh, much bigger load capacity and of course powered. Uh, this is based on the new um, the A330 um, aircraft as opposed to the A300 which the uh, still current flying Belugas are based on. And of course using that Trent 7 engine. So much more efficient aircraft all round. Picking up components from Spain and uh, Germany, bringing them in here for final assembly at Toulouse. So here we go. First aircraft lining up. So they will obviously go back, they will go out and format. <coughs> And just at that stage, the sun comes out, which is good. Well, maybe not for very long, but uh, cloud cover is... Uh, oh, no. Okay. Is he... Uh, is he going to turn left for an intersect? Very possibly. Or are they going to be uh, crossing the active runway? Yeah. Possibly crossing the active runway and then... Uh, parting out towards us. Okay, so interesting to see, are uh, they are uh, peeling off into, oh, I think they're going to do dual runway departures, folks, possibly. Now, where's that? Yes, um, I, think, I think that's what they're going to be doing. So we're going to be... Uh, staying live here for the remainder of the day after this um, display folks. Um, lucky enough to see earlier on Etihad's A350-1000, uh, something that we haven't seen before. Um, obviously seeing a lot of rare um, a new aircraft here on Big Jet TV um, on our travels here to Toulouse. Of course uh, business still carries on here Just to give you a little idea of uh, the kind of things that we're looking at, interesting to see that A330, and, um, the original A330, not a Neo. There is the um, Rwand Air 330 Neo with the new Trent 700 engines. As you can see, uh, a lot bigger fan blade casing. Um, And that looks like that's uh, ready for delivery. This is actually the delivery area down here, folks. So obviously, as you can see, uh, that possibly um, a delivery going out to a lease company uh, before it's um, painted at another workshop, that 330. Star Alliance 350. Air Canada. Interesting. Air Canada Star Alliance 350. Wow, we are blessed. Right, okay, so here we go. They are lined up. As we thought, we are going out dual, uh, dual departures. There's the two first ones lined up right there. You can see top left and right of your screen. 
now. Hopefully they'll uh, leave a little bit of a gap so that we can get a good shot of them. They are rolling, so here we go. A220, um, oh, it looks like they are staggering them. They are gonna stagger them. Okay, so this is possibly the uh, 220 going out now. That's, uh, that's a 319. That's the little 319 Neo, I think. Is it? No, it's the 220. My apologies. Difficult to see sometimes on the monitor, but... Uh, Okay, Bob Hickingbottom saying that was Air, not Canada, Air Ghana, is it? That Star Alliance, not sure. Anyway, we'll come back to that a little, a little bit later on. No, this is the 220 going out now. Sorry, my apologies. Monitor is quite dark because of the lighting, unfortunately. So they'll head out and uh, format. Looks like the next one out is the 330 Neo. He's just gonna get he's gonna get a pan on shot of this. Wow, look how quick. Oh, it's a 350, sorry. 350 going out now. the Neo coming out now. I do love the sound of a helicopter buzzing around.
the Engine Alliance uh, GP7200, I believe. Um, General Electric Pratt & Whitney uh, collaboration. Okay, some people call it ugly. We love to think of it as a beautiful aircraft. For what it's made for, transporting regarding the um now that looks like there's something um lined up down there let's just have a little look no nope. i think that ah oh, that might be the um that might be a photographic aircraft i'm not sure but um yeah interesting that uh, star alliance so whose was that sure so work goes on here at Airbus folks we're gonna hang around um, another Iberia 350 which we're used to seeing at Heathrow now um, just to give you a little scan of the airfield this uh, as I mentioned is the delivery section So there's a little private little biz jet going out. I'm not sure if this is linked to the um because I do know they use uh, sometimes use a a jet to um not so much an escort jet but uh Following that, that uh, that Neo has uh, made its way into the ETOPS calibration section, um, and that is the aircraft that was in there. So again. What you're seeing there, folks, is possibly the last ever A380 in production to be rolled out here at uh, Toulouse. Not sure if that's definitely the case, but uh, interesting to speculate. Now, um, also, over there, you can just about see her tail, Etihad's A350-1000. Uh, which rolled past this earlier on. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. So, uh, if any of you free viewers unfamiliar with what we do here at Big Jet TV, obviously um, we have a um, regular trip out here to Toulouse and um, 
you will be used to seeing um, patrols of uh, aircraft being towed from one station to another. There's um, final assembly uh, behind those buildings. Those buildings down there are actually final assembly down there. ATR is also based down there, don't forget. Um, they uh, assemble the ATR aircraft here at Toulouse. That over there is actually the A380 final assembly section over there. So who knows what's going to happen to that once the um, once the aircraft is uh, the assembly or the manufacturing of the A380 is uh, mothballed, so to speak. Don't know what's going to happen over there. I should imagine that they will keep those um, keep those hangars and uh, use them for maintenance or. whatever but uh, in terms of the actual assembly line um, final assembly of the a380 uh, have we seen the final one there who knows so parallel runways here at Toulouse of course always um, always a, a different variation of uh, of um, carriers and as I was mentioning earlier on that tail there of that peach 320 is actually a um, is a non neo aircraft which is good to see they're still uh, still manufacturing and honoring um, orders with the older variant but obviously uh, preferring to move on to the newer one that's what they're pushing at the moment and yes that is a 340 over there with another neo test aircraft behind it um, great shame that they couldn't include the 340 because it is historic isn't it today we're celebrating 50 years of um, of airbus and therefore one would have thought that if they had the opportunity that they might have um, interesting Embraer, Lufthansa Embraer yeah one would have thought they might um, they might have rolled out at least one of the older aircraft being the A340 of course um, I don't think I don't think that Airbus have any A300s um, that are still flying in their f um, fleet. Anyway, Stevie Wilson saying Airbus jets forming in two waves. So it seems. Yes, that's uh, that's the way it's going to be. I'd imagine. Lee Michelle Richards, Richard Mortara. Luke Van Jap, Darren Smith. Uh, Smithy mentioning the Falcon 20, that must have been that uh, biz jet that just went out. Very rare to see these days, he's saying. Thanks for that, mate. Joy Stanford, Tim Hawkins. Blake Riley, Wendy Van der Veg. Yeah, people um, mixed uh, mixed feelings about the Beluga. Personally, I think it's a beautiful aircraft. I think it's a it's an achievement um, in terms of uh, what they've done to that uh, to the original airframe uh, to lower the nose section, lower that. You know, the, there's a tremendous amount of revision that's been. Um, done to that aircraft in order to make the beluga happen so um, I think it's a I think it's a great aircraft myself couldn't have done that if I tried <laughs> the 
much I can be. Caroline Blair, Stephen McGuinness, Shakeshaft, Beverly Youngs, Chris Baisley, Graham Bessie, Hammer B, Ian Austin, channel members galore watching right now. How are you guys all doing? So, uh, yes, the early days of Airbus. Obviously, brought on to take on the big boys out in the US, the likes of Boeing. Um, it was a tall order, it has to be said, but uh, eventually it all came good in the end. Of course, what did uh, the British have? De Havilland, we had the Trident, Vickers, of course, uh, who originally built the Viscount, uh, the VC-10, um, but nothing uh, in terms of competition uh, with Boeing in the US. Even McDonnell Douglas falling foul to that over time. So, let's just have a little look here, shall we? Judy, can you send me a link, uh, YouTube, YouTube link on WhatsApp, please, for free, for free view. Yeah, thanks. Just have a uh, little chat with the, uh, the free view crews. Stevie Wilson, Mark Jones. So if you're wondering what we're waiting for folks, if you just joined us, we are uh, celebrating 50 years of Airbus and uh, we have a fly pass that's going to be happening. Now what is interesting is the fact that it is uh, the cloud coverage as you'll see from this, uh, from this uh, Air France 320 it's just about to hit the clouds any moment now. Here you go, you see uh, I'd say no more than sort of like 500 feet is uh, is the cloud base. So whatever they do, I think they're going to have to fly pretty low. Thanks, GP. Okay, interesting. Uma Shaquille, good morning. Ian Child, good morning to you. Vinnie Jones, morning all and a happy 50th. Thank you very much indeed. CPR, one, two, three, four. Abner Jaggy, good morning to you. Trish Peters, uh, Robin Ter Matt. Yes, this is live, my friend. I'm just giving you a shout out. Uh, hope you're well. Um, Vele Yar Klas Ebara, uh, when will they come? Well, um, a lot of uh, people who watch Big Jet TV and uh, a lot of uh, aviation fans, of course, will be watching uh, their flight radars and some of those uh, aircraft will be on flight radar right now. So you'll be able to sort of track them uh, according to our members uh, who, are, who are giving us feedback on the channel right now. Uh, they're, uh, they're formatting into two segments. Uh, so we should expect to see that. At some point, obviously, they need to um, join up with the um, display team, the French display team. Um, 
the Alpha Jet, which is uh, an advanced trainer aircraft um, used by the um, Patrouille de France, which is the PAF, the equivalent of the British Red Arrows, of course. JRJ Photo. Uh, heading over to Manchester. We'll be at Manchester this Saturday, folks, uh, for um, intense spool up. Uh, 20 minutes of free view from that spool up point at Manchester this, this coming Saturday. Uh, you might want to join up for that one. Uh, just at least subscribe to our free view channel. Uh, just make sure that you uh, go to the best place. The best place that you could do that would be head over to uh, bigjet.tv. Um, Jilly, is the banner on the left or not there? No. Okay, so what 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 you need to do uh, can we put it up or is that uh, can we put it up no okay so um so uh, the, the the best the best place you want to head to folks uh, if you want to find out about big jet tv also uh, if you want to try freeview um and uh, and and you fancy just a, a one click run through that all you need to do is go to bigjet.tv um and uh, there'll be three buttons on that page where you can try the freeview of course uh, you can also read about everything that we do at Big Jet TV, how we, uh, how we um, uh, use your, uh, your subscriptions, how they're actually used to, uh, to get to um, uh, uh, put Jet, Big Jet TV in its position where it's able to go out to these places and, uh, and film and uh, it's a full-time operation. So basically how your money is put to use uh, is all there um, in black and white, literally uh, on the on the website. You can see that, and of course, there's a join button there as well, if you fancy that. Abner Jaggy, who knows Indigo Airlines? Yes, interesting. Yes, uh, obviously some uh, exotic airlines that we're not used to seeing in Europe. Um, of course, they are delivered all over the world with Airbus. And of course, those uh, those three there alone uh, are uh, unknowns to me, anyway. Jacob Mould. Andrea Moore. Belugas are happy planes. Indeed they are. Um, yes. Max Clayton. Only Airbus A300 Airbus still have is in the Aeroscopia Museum, not too far from the airport. Yes, indeed, Max Clayton, the only A300 Airbus still, um, yes. Uh, and also they have the old Guppy over there as well. Sniper for hire, cheap eye. <laughs> what is the tan colored plane in the background? Uh, are you referring to that one there, that A330 there? Um, I'd, I'd imagine that he is. Uh, that this is the uh, delivery section here at Toulouse. So there's a good there's a good possibility. Is that a test reg on there? Just have a little look. Yeah, we got a reg there right now. EC-330, and it looks like a, is that a Spanish flag on it? Yeah. So so that may be the um, that may be going to a lease company. Uh, I'm not sure. But looks like that's ready for delivery, uh, even though it will obviously go off to um, be painted in whatever workshop. So, ah, oh, Harvard driver, a Star Alliance aircraft parked next to the Qatar was Air China. Okay, it was Air China. So that is Air China, that one there. Okay why i say it's just 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 understand folks that i look on I'm, I'm looking on a very small monitor here so sometimes i do uh i do make the odd mistake um wow interesting interesting folks we've just found out that that registration on that 330 is for australian air force or is registered to the Australian Air Force, which is interesting. Um, that uh, China Eastern three um, three fifty was um, had engine covers and uh, wheel covers on it earlier on. All now been removed, so I think 
we might see some action from that a little bit later on. There's something coming in now. Just a, one of the commercials, I'd imagine. Airbus military. Well, well, well. Okay. So what's that been in for a refurb or what? We are led to believe, folks. Okay, so that is an Air Force aircraft. Um, so not a new aircraft. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Airbus are actually still manufacturing new uh, A330, 2 and 300 aircraft, or if they've completely switched the... Um, assembly to Okay, so there we go, Airbus Military Headquarters. Airbus Military, did you say? Okay, in Spain. So that aircraft, obviously, uh... but I'm not sure, I don't know if they, I'd, I'd love to find out if uh, somebody could, could possibly, um... uh, Simon Rowlands, interesting, thanks for that, mate. Peach are a budget carrier based in Japan. So there you go, peachy, meow san. Great information coming from you guys. Uh, Richard Mortara, EC330 was an Australian Air Force A330, must have been returned and going back out on lease. Okay, so there we go. Oh, there we go, Luke Van Giap. Yeah, very, 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 very rightly so. Saying, as mentioned above, likely military as they paint it themselves as required. Um, Andy Gibson, military variant A330 MRTT. Stevie Wilson has uh, popped off. Okay, so we have them. Uh, turning back towards Toulouse now folks okay so one thing I do need to do is uh... Lulu Brennan good morning Bayer uh, Ganbold shout out from Mongolia good day to you Lulu Brennan well we're not in Heathrow because we are at Heathrow regularly so uh, tune in on another occasion and you will find us at Heathrow <laughs> Uh, you and Erd, uh, where are you next at, when are you next at Manchester? Well, just uh, told you there, my friend, you and Erd, we're there on Saturday, this Saturday, we will be at um, Manchester. Joshua Harvey, good day to you, Uma Shaquille, uh, saying that they are coming. Thanks, mate. David Bradley, uh, good morning. Michael Harris, is that an Air New Zealand plane next to door to Peach? No, that's Star Alliance, my friend. Uh, Gary O'Rourke, weather is uh, a bit chilly. It's a good job the sun's come out because it was actually very, very cold when I arrived here this morning. Tariq Usha. Uh, Tariq, any moment now, we're expecting the A380. 
along with all the other display aircraft as well or fly past aircraft should I say oh look is that a uh, it's another Etihad looks like a 350 tail being wheeled out of that uh, that's looking like that may be um, a delivery aircraft very possibly have to keep an eye on that I have to say, keep your, you need to keep your eel, uh, eyes peeled here, because uh, your eels peeled. You need to keep your eyes peeled, just because um, so much going on that you uh, literally keep focused on one side of the airfield, and then the next thing you know is uh, another one appears. Now this one is fully painted and uh, looks like definitely that might have gone through its PDI, literally uh, in that hangar just there maybe a pre-delivery inspection hangar i'm not sure <laughs> sparring boy yes you did see um singapore airlines over the back there uh, a350 let's give you a quick flash of that uh, there are of course other ones a350 sitting over there one of the many a3 uh, singapore 350s that are dotted around the airfield so we'll see that uh, you and Ard yes indeed uh, we will get to have a good look at that uh, Etihad 350 hopefully uh, they'll be pulling that round past us David Bradley yes Rwanda's 330neo parked right there we're hoping Big Jet TV are um, have had the invitation sent out to us uh, to be um, flying with that aircraft down to Rwanda for its delivery uh, got good morning Julian FB tuning in from Blagnac. Uh, good morning to you. Richard Keep. Uh, asking when is the fly past soon that's when we're expecting it Thanks. You're serious? You're serious? Well, wouldn't be surprised to be honest with you. Uh, Sivas uh, Jandan saying that there's a minor storm heading our way. <laughs> Thanks for that. That's a big old 351,000 right there. She's a long old girl. So good that the uh, 
The 1000 variant of the 350 uses the tri undercarriage, unlike the uh, Dreamliner. One thousand. It just uses a. Uh, it's uh, retaining the uh, four pots. Sivas. She's brand spanking new, man. Literally. Been air tested ground tested everything's been done to that aircraft I think she's now being towed to uh, a gate for delivery possibly Julian FB saying uh, uh, fly past scheduled around about 11.55 so any moment now really thanks smart boy Uma Shaquille A350 1000 will be here in two or three minutes thanks mate Very true words, Luke Van Giet. Chase plane, that's for the word I was looking for. Thanks, uh, who was that who said that? Uh, Ian Austin, thanks mate. John Bailey, good morning. Caroline Blair, good morning to you. Stephen McGuinness, did I read somewhere that the company is leasing those WOW aircraft? Okay. Um, I believe that they are going back to the lease company for, uh, for paint. Neil Tatsell, only two of the aircraft have their transponders on. I think they are writing something on flight radar. Oh, interesting. Yes, yes, they may be doing a big 50 on flight radar. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, Debbie Speller asking, any sign of the Virgin or BA? I'll tell you what, uh, Debbie, we saw, I saw the uh, Virgin last night. She has actually been towed from the position she was at last night over to the other side. So, um, Hopefully later on today we are going to be staying live with our channel members uh, for the rest of the day here on Big Jet TV. Um, so um, you might want to stick around. And of course if you're a channel member you can watch this on demand later on in the comfort of your living room, your bedroom, your hotel room or wherever you might be watching it from. Ravindrath uh, Bavaru, Baruv, uh, ba, Bavar, yeah, uh, he, 319 heading in a random direction. Well, that may be because that 319 is painting the, uh, they're doing, um, they may be making a, a 5 0 um, on the flight radar. So check that out. Wayne Guns, um, the fly past should be around about 11 a.m. Um, your time. Uh, uh, sorry, um, well, we were told around about... Uh, that actually, to be honest with you, there have been conflicting uh, timings. One this morning was around about midday, um, and uh, another one being around about 11, but uh, it is 10 a.m. here. Um, in France and of course uh, they rolled out a lot 
earlier than the, what we uh, what we thought they were going to roll out. So um, who knows? Stay tuned would be my recommendation. Ooh, I want to speak to them. Safran Aero Systems. If you're watching, folks, we definitely want to do some stuff with you because, of course, Safran um, being involved in so much of uh, the uh, aerospace industry and, of course, uh, manufacturing key components for aircraft such as undercarriage, uh, thrust reversers um, and uh, other major components, aircraft components involved um, over many, 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 many years. Uh, another company that's been through a lot of changes over the years, uh, originally with Doughty, I believe, Doughty, Bugatti, um, and uh, involved in the manufacturing of uh, aircraft undercarriage, and of course, uh, like I say, other major components. So we really want to have a word with those guys and see if we can do a show with Safran. Fred Katz, they make our brakes and wheels. There you go. Uh, I think uh, Safran actually have a um, are involved in the um, the electric braking systems as well uh, that obviously are powering the um, the Dreamliner. So. Um, Gemma, no, we didn't. You didn't miss it. Keith Bryant, Wayne Guns. <laughs> Someone just randomly mentioning about uh, brilliant inventions. One of those, of course, being the tea bag, which uh, we all have to agree on. It has to be said. Um, yes, indeed. DBR5813, do the pilots of Etihad deliver aircraft to its base? Well, yes, indeed. Um, more often than not, the, um, the, the airline will have either um, uh, assigned pilots, air crew, for, uh, for delivering aircraft. They'll obviously fly them out here, and then, um, and then they'll take hold of the aircraft and fly them out there. They have designated flight test uh, crews as well as um, delivery crews. Some airlines depends on the size of the airline, I guess. Gemma Siddle, meanwhile at Boeing. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, um, of course, uh, we don't really want to talk about the polit politics of, uh, of the whole Boeing and Airbus uh, thing. Uh, They've literally um, been trying to outsmart each other for the best part of 50 years, really. That's, that's the best way to put it. Um, not so much competing on the level of, uh, you know, uh, they, they, they've always tried to find a, a gap between a, a specific variant of aircraft rather than sort of like, you know, uh, going into direct competition. Although I would say that uh, the 330neo... Um, and the 350, of course, uh, being put up against the 787 and uh, the 777, of course. So, sky's darkening behind me, which is a little bit worrying. Of course, we're just uh, waiting to see what happens with the... Just to, just to give you guys a quick look over the other side of the airfield, if you just joined us. Of course... Uh, a lot of people's favourite aircraft right there, big favourite on Big Jet TV, the A346. Um, couple of uh, wow, if, uh, of course, if you're aware, that airline went out of business and so weren't able to take delivery of the aircraft. Of course, those aircraft were probably registered to a lease company, so that lease company will be taking them back and having them uh, uh, repainted. Uh, looks like... That might be um, 
not sure. Head to head couple of Neos there. Oh yeah, little jet. I know we all like our, uh, a lot of you guys like your, um, your little biz jets. Of course, don't forget folks, hit bigjet.tv uh, to find out what we're all about. Bigjet.tv is where you need to go. Um, bookmark it and make sure that you uh, subscribe to the free view channel um, we do a 20 minute free view at the beginning of every show uh, two hours is the standard procedure with uh, with our um, our channel members uh, minimum two hours that is like for example this Saturday we'll probably do get run into at least three hours uh, of streaming because it's uh, quite a long trip for me to drive up to Manchester so it's pointless me going all the way up there just for a couple of hours so we'll probably hit a couple of locations up at Manchester but yes uh, free view we'll get the 20 minutes of course we love to give you something and um, the best place to watch that is just head to uh, bigjet.tv and hit the try free view button uh, hit the try free view button is what you need to do best thing to do is just bookmark uh, bigjet.tv on your browsers and uh, then you won't miss any aviation live aviation action of course we are a live channel folks we only do live uh, of course we when we do our live stuff we obviously pump out uh, post-production stuff as well after the live but um, so over here what we're looking at here is the uh, I believe where they calibrate the uh, e-tops what you're looking at right there of course more aircraft set for delivery um, that's not the delivery area over there, so that may be uh, ETOPS that they're uh, they're waiting on, just over in that section over there. ETAM, um, Delta, Singapore, TAP. Not sure on this uh, this tail here, to be honest with you. Not sure whose that is. Um, I said it's very very early state. Got a reg on that, but that will be a test reg, you see. So, who knows? Charlie Kilo. And of course, um, a little bit further afield, um, Air Mauritius 330, Air France 350, Air Asia, uh, Star Alliance, and of course, uh, what could possibly be the final A380 to be rolled out uh, from Toulouse. A380 final assembly over there and of course Air France is oh, uh, first 350 yes um, over over behind the over behind the trees over there is the Virgin 350 in fact I tell you what you might be able to see just there right the top of the tail there that may possibly be virgin's 350 because i know i do know that um just the wing just the um engine cowls and the wing tips are painted the the tail section the tail plane uh, the vertical stabilizer has not yet been um applied the the um the livery has not yet been applied see how big the um that's a uh, Okay. <laughs> Hello from next to me. Who's next to me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking, but no one's looking at me. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Fred Katz, no more 380s. Indeed, that could very possibly be the last 380 that they're going to be rolling out of here, at, uh, rolling out here at uh, Toulouse. Who's to know? Oh, 
Okay, 350 back on radar apparently, folks. John Hucklesby, <laughs> miserable weather. Um, heading back now, Leslie White on Facebook, thank you. Manuel Hakor saying uh, that uh, Logan Air is inbound. Is that the way she go? Mm -hmm. uh, Trisha Guy, no, it's not warm, it's cold. This is him here, this is the bloke here, look. Stephen Upton, my other half is working at the delivery centre. Interesting. Wow. Lucky you. Uh, so, Stephen Upton, good morning all, my other half working in the delivery centre now, as in that delivery centre that we're looking at, my friend? Big set of fan blades on that Trent. Of course, the Trent 7. Um, the upgraded version, the uprated version of uh, that Trent 7 there. Um, highly efficient. High bypass ratio turbo fan. Luke Van Jap, much nicer than a Dreamliner. Wayne Collier. No, it's not here. Uh, show the Indigo A320, uh, Anu Mav Mitra is asking. There you go, my friend. Just for you. Benuit Fasud Ebas, loving it. Um, you a nerd? Yes. Well, if you're if you're nearby on Saturday, by all means, come by, say hello. I've always got a little collection of stickers with me, so if you ever want a sticker, uh, you only have to ask. Joshua Harvey, can you show the Iberia, please? Yes, of course I can, my friend. There we go. Iberia's. Uh, I'm not sure if that's their second A350 uh, for delivery, but um, Etty Hads. 1,000 behind that, of course. I think that's a 900 with Iberia there. Uh, Kevin Whitelaw, whereabouts is Toulouse? Toulouse is on the uh, southern, uh, is in southern France, basically. North of the Pyrenees. Uh, Morgan. Uh, Benoit uh, Mentier, Emma Martin, good day to you. Hello, Victor DR, can you show the A380? Um, well, the, the only A380 that we have here is just the tail section, my friend. Um, so, Victor DR. Uh, Benji Boo, no, we can't show the A350 with Virgin because, unfortunately, she's hidden from view. But uh, the only um, shot of the 380 that you're going to get is that I'm afraid at this stage uh, no reg on her now of course if you're on flight radar you'll um, you'll be able to see that there are a number of uh, aircraft on flight radar but be aware that some of the registrations that you see are only test regs so therefore um, uh, the um, sometimes you might see uh, Apparently, a lot of the test regs still showing up as Singapore Airlines, but they're actually other aircraft. So just um, just be aware of that. A bit like having trade plates when you're a car dealer, um, where you just literally uh, shove the trade plate in the windshield, and uh, it's good enough to good enough to drive. It puts it puts it on the road legally. Um, so obviously, they um, once these. Once the registrations are assigned to their individual carrier, um, that trade, I should say, um, the test reg, will then come off and be assigned to another aircraft. So there we go. Ah, now that's interesting. The, uh, the chopper is back. So if the ch is that a camera chopper? Not sure if it is. Is that got yes I think this is the camera chopper so he's positioning himself so if he's positioning himself that means that we uh, 
possibly is it uh, okay that's definitely the camera chopper though. he's got a camera on the front of him so yeah I think he's landing I think he's landing <laughs> yeah So obviously the um, the departure and subsequent formation of the aircraft and uh, joining up, obviously with the um, with the French display team is uh, part of this whole exercise as well. So there's still a lot more to come. Uh, hence the reason why it's more than likely that it will run through till 11 o'clock um, local, 10 o'clock UK. <laughs> Janet Lowe, the hot illusion. <laughs> oh, David Michael, thank you very much indeed for that. A3, uh, the A220, um, A319 Neo, A330 Neo, 351,000, Beluga XL, and the A380. Uh, giving all the registrations there. Thank you, David Michael. Uh, that's most uh, most kind of you. Um, Have you? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, Bob Hickingbottom asking if I've been to De Gaulle Airport. Charles De Gaulle. I'm guessing your um, your uh, meaning there, or is that De Gaulle as in sc scary monsters, S um, uh, ghouls? Um, no, but no. We um, we were thinking actually of uh, doing a road trip down to Toulouse in the van, so that we can. Um, go to a few more vantage points uh, and on the way down possibly look at stopping off at Paris Sivas um, you might want to say please my friend um, Lewis Rogan there's just one there the tip of it right over there is like the tip of a tail yeah yeah it's common courtesy in uh, in these parts to say please my friend oh there we are so, okay Sivas yeah sorry there we are <laughs> all right my old son well done Uanard Hop ATR. I think that's the one landing there. A crowded as in um, a crowded as in uh, the here as in here. Yeah, no, no, it's not, not really. No, there's two, four, six. It's probably twenty odd people. Um, I'd say scattered around. Fred Katz, Beluga's Rock. <laughs> they do indeed. And uh, saw this landing earlier on this morning. Uh, just got a freight section over there. Beautiful old uh, Smokey Joe 767. That's an old aircraft. Star Air 767. And of course, uh, DHLs, A300. So, PS debug. Um, there we go, PS debug. Look forward to seeing you, my friend. Joining me here or uh, joining the channel? What are you doing there, matey? Come in here. Okay, well, if you do, my friend, make sure you bring us um, bring us a coffee. Um, I'll tell you what, you're talking about being crowded. Uh, the roadway down there, that is now, uh, that, was, um, that was empty this morning. So as you can see the roadway down there, um, now uh filled with and there's more people arriving now so uh yes i i think that um i think that the 11 o'clock 
I think the 11 o'clock is more likely to be the uh, more accurate one. <laughs> Mark Hellings, she's not helping me get any work done. Uh... Um, Bishoy, yes, uh, you make your way up here quickly, my friend. There are definitely parking spots um, up here, um, as you can see down there on the roadside. Get yourself a parking spot, most definitely. Um, come and join me, come say hello, and grab yourself a sticker, me old Sam. Gemma Siddle, yes, we are aware that uh, Wow Air did cease operations. Um, those aircraft, of course, going back to their lease, respective lease companies. Fred Katz asking why they called Smoky Joe's. Well, to be honest with you, um, we, we, I, can't, I kind of like, oh, here comes a beluga, folks. Here comes a beluga for you guys. And it is an XL as well, so that's a, that's a little bit of a um, a treat for you. This is not one of the display aircraft, but this is it's, they they now have two XLs in their fleet. So uh, <laughs> so this is the aircraft that's used to transport um, wings from uh, from the assembly plants. Uh, manufacturing plant, should I say? So you can very clever how they've, uh, as you can see, you can now see the cockpit and see how well they've uh, made that aircraft. I think I don't know. It's got nothing. It's got nothing on its on its stabilizers at the back, so uh, I'm not sure. On the stabilizers, I think, on the on the on the vertical stabilizers at the back. Apparently this one going to Paris. So uh, on the revised A330 platform with the Trent 7 engines, here we go. So you see the uh, vertical stabilizers at the back there, folks. Those vertical stabilizers used for uh, literally, well, there you go, use the word stabilizing the aircraft because of the obviously the highly disturbed airflow um, that's created by the, um, the big wide um, fuselage. Because uh, obviously you can imagine the um, air, air is heavily disturbed. Um, coming off the front end of it. Emrys Davis, good morning to you. Harmic Viscanian. You and I are saying, anyone else seen that Moroccan Navy plane drawing interesting symbols over France? It's back on its way to Toulouse now. Registration, Charlie November. Uh, Tango Mike Sierra. Interesting. You still there, GP? Okay. Fred Katz, thank you. Tariq Usha. 
Twitter's going mad at the moment. Good, a good day to uh, all of you people on Twitter, by the way, folks. Uh, let me just see if I can just... I, I, I'm going to go on the... Wow. Okay, okay. So let me, uh, let me head to Twitter now then and um, give a shout out to some people watching on Periscope right now. Um, Okay, now that's gone, that's taken me across to uh, the wrong channel, or has it? Um, where is it, GP? I need to. Um, hold on a minute, I'm just find Periscope. Wow, we're we'll just get. I'm just getting. Oh, I've got it here. We, um, it should, should come up. Wow, look at that. Airbus 50th anniversary fly past. Okay, so let's uh, let's do some show. Henry Ellis, John D. Glass, SJP, uh, Dre Babs, Desorf. Uh, good morning to you, Jimmy Larson, Jordan Catherell, Dado 22, Sean Satch, Dave Francis, Lavrova, Fabre, Jacques, um, Gentil, uh, John Davy. And all of you people right now, um, give us some love hearts on there. I think that's what we do, isn't it? On um, Chicago. Hey, uh, Dado22, tuning in from Chicago, Illinois. Good day to you, my friend. Um, of course, welcome everybody. You are uh, watching live on Big Jet TV. This is the celebration, uh, Airbus and their 50th anniversary in collaboration, obviously, with. Um, Great Britain, um, Spain, Germany, and of course France. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, I believe, uh, if I'm right in saying, the French manufacture the business end of the aircraft, the cockpit end of the aircraft. Um, obviously, there are instruments and components that go into that uh, um, uh, flight management systems, etc. Uh, that go into that cockpit, which are built and manufactured by air, uh, uh, avionics uh, uh, manufacturers all across the globe, including China and everywhere else. Um, and of course, uh, Great Britain manufacturing the wings of these fantastic aircraft. Um, the Germans, I believe, involved in the um, fuselage sections and the Spanish in the uh, manufacture of the empennage, uh, the rear section of the aircraft, the tail section, vertical and horizontal stabiliser. And of course, people like Safran involved in the uh, undercarriage. Um, and of course, Rolls-Royce powering the uh, latest XWB engines on the A350. Um, and of course, other um, Manufacturers involved in engines as well, General Electric, Pratt & Whitney, um, and so on and so forth down the line. And of course the uh, Engine Alliance um, group uh, manufacturing the uh, engine GP7200 for the A380 and so on and so forth. So obviously we're celebrating that today and big congratulations go out to Airbus. Um, And may there be another 50 years and beyond, of course. Uh, lots of love hearts coming across now on Twitter, and um, people joining. Give us some, uh, give us some comments on there, folks, and I'll give you some shout-outs if I can. Uh, Trisha Guy is saying she keeps hearing a buzzing. Is there a buzzing? Are we all right? Everybody's all right. John Hucklesby, Chantel Bryan, Luke Van Jet, Peter Room, good afternoon, Justin Waddington. Um, Christopher Clark saying she must be empty, that uh, XL. More than likely, um, I'd say more than likely purely because of the fact that obviously um, it's coming in to bring componentry into uh, the into the um, to the to the to the assembly lines um, and obviously when she goes out she's going back to either um, uh, another uh, manufacturer maybe Spain uh, 
apparently that one was going to Paris. I'm not sure what that was all about. Um, but obviously going to Broughton in Wales, where we have been, of course, and uh, we covered the... Oh, hello. I have a helicopter. Just about to... Uh, here it comes. DM from a Virgin pilot, did you say, Julie? Oh, fantastic. What's he flying? What's he flying? He's coming back. Three thirty or Dreamliner, one of the two. It's a long way out then. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good luck with that. Let's get, let's get away from everyone, shall we? Give us away, folks. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> Enthusiastic lot, this lot. Hey. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Le Ballet Rouge. Jean-Paul. Um, Dominique uh, 51461809 tuning in from Paris. Hello, Dominique. Um, Aloha from Hawaii. Um, what camera are you using? Hey, guys, listen. This is the crazy thing. This is a simplistic VX1. You can buy this camera anywhere in the world. Um, very cheap as well. Um, so... Um, Pop Key One, uh, what's your personal favourite aircraft from Airbus? Well, I have to be honest with you, um, it most definitely, it's a tricky one that, you know, uh, that you say that, uh, 05 JWC. Um, welcome to Malfox, it's their first day on Periscope. Malfox, good day to you. Um, yeah, my personal favourite aircraft, I have to say, um, I love, I love all of their variants, but uh, the A220, which really, in all honesty, is not actually uh, a true Airbus. It's actually Bombardier's aircraft, originally conceived and designed by the guys at Bombardier. But it is a single aisle aircraft, and it's uh, not manufactured here at Toulouse, um, but it is uh, the majority stake of that aircraft is... Um, uh, uh, owned by Airbus now and therefore it is called and designated the A220. Now that aircraft is actually leading the um, leading the group out this morning if you uh, if you maybe watch the uh, the replay uh, that um, 
that aircraft is is very much like a mini a350 if you lined it up next to that a350 right there um you'd uh, you'd see the comparisons um the likeness um the only difference being obviously uh, in terms of its scale is the uh, is the the wing tips are squared off rather than uh, uh sculpted and, and and beautifully sculpted i have to say uh like the a350 wing tip which is beautiful. So yes, in answer to your question, uh, favourite um, favourite uh, air aircraft out of the true Airbus uh, aircraft. Um, really, uh, I might get I might get ribbed a little bit for it, but my my all time favourite Airbus at this stage has always been the A346. The reason I say that is because my dad flew the DC8 um, way back in the day. Uh, so therefore. Uh, being a, a, a captain of a DC-8 and having flown with him many times on the jump seat, the A346 has, you know, um, the look of a DC-8. So therefore, um, that's that's the reason why uh, that would be. In terms of a modern day aircraft, I think they've done a fantastic job with the A330, um, revising that and uh, making it a, a more fuel efficient, uh, more efficient aircraft in terms of its aerodynamics perhaps. Um, a new all carbon wing tip, uh, new revised engines, and uh, I believe a new front end on it as well. But the 350, uh, she's a glorious aircraft. So I hope that answered your question. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Poppy, uh, Pop, uh, Popo Key One is tuning in from Hawaii. How are you doing? Another one, uh, Rick Stu Kicks tuning in from Hawaii. How are you doing? Um, Theodore, um, what camera? There we go, the VX1. Um, Dominique, loving the site. ATC Network is their first day on Periscope. Welcome to ATC Network. Uh, network. Um, hello from Maastricht in the Netherlands. That's ATC Network. ATC Network, That's uh, I flew into Maastricht actually a, f a few times with my dad on his DC-854, um, I have to say. Um, Airbus Red has just joined. Good day, Airbus Red. Dominique also likes the A340. <laughs> Oh right, uh, Airbus Red, I believe, is an A320 pilot. So good day to you, my friend. I live just down the road from Broughton. Beluga XL flying above most days. Theodore 35. Wow, lucky man. Uh, my first international flight. Uh, this one coming in. Let's do it. Okay, let's just see. Okay, they're over the Mediterranean. Little. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about that. Oh, just lost feed, Jilly. Just lost feed. Just stand by. It's back, is it? Okay, okay. Everyone got it? Everyone good? Okay. First international, my first international flight at age five years was on an Air New Zealand DC-8. Love that plane, Rodney OR. That's good to hear. Wow, so many channels to uh, zip across to here. Of course, um, all our, all our uh, Debbie Speller, Wayne GGCC, Pical Pam, Jet Skitty. Uh, I'm just uh, reading out comments now to our channel members, folks. Uh, channel members, both on Facebook and on YouTube, of course. If you want to find out about channel membership here on Big Jet TV, we are live every Wednesday and every Saturday um, at different airports. Uh, we do go frequently now to European airports such as Munich, um, Zurich, Frankfurt, Schiphol. We'll be at Schiphol next month. Um, we just come back from Zurich last a couple of weeks ago. Um, and of course, we make regular trips out here to Toulouse now because it is such a wonderful site. And of course, the people are so friendly as well. Although you wouldn't have thought that when I just turned the camera around and asked them all to wave and they all just stood there like I was... Um, a madman. <laughs> Phil Locks and where there are a lot going. Yeah, Manx, uh, Stevie McGuinness, Mandy D, Kurt Langraf, uh, Michael K, um, Phil Locks and Billy Pipers. Three one nine is now heading out over Mediterranean. Kurt Langraf. So it looks like it's definitely going to be that um, eleven o'clock, if not a little bit later, perhaps around about midday. They did say that that chap who was here earlier on. He did say around about. Uh, midday. Uh, Max, uh, I can't fly. 
uh, Debbie Speller. Mandy D, what's that beeping? Stephen Owens, um, what's that beeping? Absolutely no idea. It's a, uh, I don't know, maybe it did. That guy's got a serious piece of kit, and he look. What's that? Looks like one of those old. Um... John Hughes II, Airbus opened an A220 manufacturing plant in Mobile, Alabama in January. Delivering the first A220s from this plant are expected in 2020. They will build the US orders for Airbus. Well, that's good to know. Um, opened a an eight. I, I saw something about that on Facebook, I seem to remember. Um, famous in the motorsport world and owned two airline companies. Who's that we were just talking about there? Um, uh, 05JWC. Um, I, I'm, I've just caught, j jumped on the back end of that comment. My apologies for that. Stephen Dahl, Jerry, any chance of doing a video on your setup to broadcasting live and getting the picks to us? Something that we could do, possibly. Okay, just a little bit of movement. That 380. Uh, there you go, folks. Uh, she's on the move. There you go, in her... Uh, still in her primer stage. So that possibly, folks, the last ever A380 um, coming out of um, Toulouse in France, or last ever A380 to be manufactured. So we just um, wait for her to appear. I think we might get her appearing the other side of that uh, that building then, just now. Michael K. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're looking for that, my friend. Uh, Derek Heslop, good morning to you. Debbie Speller. Alan getting jiggy with it. <laughs> John Elliott and of course everybody watching on Facebook and on YouTube hope everybody's well and a big shout out to all our channel members as well so there we go folks there's a good shot of her okay okay I'm gonna do that I'm gonna jump to Facebook in a moment folks now, whether they run the Trent 9s or the uh, EA engines on the... Um, I believe that Emirates uh, have a mix of both the Rolls-Royce variant and the uh, Engine Alliance GP 7200s on that aircraft. Um, not sure which one they are, whether they've got... Test ridge on it. No. Yeah. Uh, no. So, okay. Where she's headed, we don't know. So, don't forget, folks. I think, uh, don't forget that. Um, Airbus, of course, the first to introduce the fly-by-wire technology um, before anybody else, I believe. I think I'm right in saying that. And, of course, that, that is one of the old A320s that's uh, sitting down there uh, as a gate guardian of some description. So that 380 still. I think they're taking it for a walk. Stretch its legs. Good if they brought it over here. Might be towing it out over here, folks. Because that that is actually the general direction that they do bring them when they're towing them out towards here. So we might be uh, treated to a uh, a good close-up shot of this 380. Okay, we're going to zip over to Facebook right now. Um, okay, uh, I need to get Facebook free view up, don't I? Okay, just stand by. Wow. 
bit difficult for me to keep up with all of your comments folks my apologies I do try uh, don't forget I'm reading across three channels actually more than three channels I'm reading across uh, YouTube Freeview and of course our channel members Facebook Freeview and our channel members uh, as well as of course um, Twitter as well Periscope my apologies yes so I don't know where they've uh, They've literally taken her around the block. Maybe just a towing exercise. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go back to exactly the spot, more or less the same spot as she was just now. Air France is uh, only A350 uh, pre paint. Channel Zion. Wow. Okay. So so a lot more people joining us now now it's really uh, that's really starting to pack out so these people obviously knew uh, a lot more than what I did in terms of oh shot ices peanuts get more on okay Who's up for an ice cream? Amazing, great display, enjoying a lot. Thank you very much indeed. And that was, how do I keep the comments on, um, on, um, yeah, yeah, that is quite annoying because it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, yeah, but it doesn't, it, it, when I, when I just touch the screen, Oh, there we are. It just it worked then, but then sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, that's that's pretty annoying, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to um, keep up with your comments on um, on all channels, but uh, please um, please bear with me. I know we've got a lot of pilots who are who are watching right now as well, and of course um, we're more than happy if you're ever flying into London Heathrow or any other airport, Manchester. We'll be at Manchester on Saturday. Catch us live this Saturday, guys. I have to say, if you are um, if you're into uh, if you're into the sound of engines spooling up, then really you need to um, uh, join us this Saturday at uh, Manchester uh, International because uh, that is the most incredible um, sight that you will ever see and hear at Manchester um, this coming Saturday. Early morning show, so make sure you uh, uh, save us in your browser, uh, on your desktop, bigjet.tv uh, we are a live channel we're live every Wednesday and every Saturday make sure you follow us on there and uh, subscribe to the Freeview channel on YouTube that's the best place to go folks and of course um, there's a quick link to it on our website so just go to bigjet.tv there's three buttons there uh, you can find out everything that we do at Big Jet TV, how your money is put to work and uh, your subscriptions that is. Just $4.99 a month to watch the full show. We do um, channel member only shows. Um, of course once this display is over we will be switching to our channel members uh, for the rest of the day uh, bringing them all the live action uh, and of course all the chat that we have. Um, and it's obviously a lot easier for me to keep up on the comments there. Interesting, look at that. Is that um, Air China 320 Neo possibly being pushed back there that we're going to get to see? Is this right? Is this, that's a, I'll tell you what, in terms of um, the best looking A350 aircraft in uh, livery, 
is most definitely Air China. If you ever get a chance to see that aircraft, make sure you check it out because she's a beautiful looking aircraft. Now regularly into London Heathrow and uh, looking very, very retro, it has to be said. Georgina Johnson, good afternoon to you. Chantel Bryan, we apparently um, are being um, requested on Facebook. Uh, Big Jet TV on Facebook, of course, across all channels. Good day to you guys. Come back to your comments as quickly as I can. Okay, here we go. Where are you from? If you want a shout out, just um, I'm over on Facebook now, folks. If you want a shout out um, on Facebook, Freeview, uh, Deanna Piper. Good day to you, Kai Krishiv, uh, uh, Muti, Air Mauritius. Uh, giving a shout out. I don't. I, I'd imagine that you're um, you're looking at that Air Mauritius A330 Neo that's over the other side by the um, uh, Air France 350. Yes, indeed. Air, Air Mauritius now flying their A330 Neo into London Heathrow. That's a good thing to see. Beautiful aircraft. And uh, again, I have to uh, reiterate how um, impressed we all are with how well Airbus have done in uh, revising the current um, program with the A330, uh, 200 and 300 variants. Scott Ellis Padden tuning in from Scotland. Jordan Catherell, just wanted to reiterate my comment from Periscope and pay tribute to Nicky Lauder. Yes, indeed. Um, a great, a sad loss for everybody. Uh, one man who really told it like it is. Um, no mincing of any words, Mr. Lauder. Marcus Gula, tuning in from Zurich in Switzerland. Um, hope you enjoyed our show live from Zurich in Switzerland a couple of weeks ago. Stephen, Sean Young, and uh, of course, if anybody from Zurich uh, uh, media team are watching, uh, a big hello to you guys. Um, really well looked after. Okay, which one? The small, the little, uh, the little, this one here? Okay, Rui asking for me to zoom in on that NEO registration. I hope that's got it for you, mate. Tango Victor Echo. So just waiting for this uh, Air China 330. Now, of course, peculiar to see, um, well, I'm not peculiar, but um, interesting, should I say, to see... Um, an aircraft, a single aisle aircraft, like a 320neo, uh, from somewhere as far away as China, of course. Um, now that will be hopped from um, in, in different stages across uh, to China uh, by their test crews or uh, designated flight crews to uh, pick up and ferry the aircraft. Ferry pilots, as they are sometimes known. Tony Bagman, uh, good morning. Uh, love Airbus, the only Boeings I like are the 747 and the 777. Uh, there we go. We will always have a love and a special place in our hearts for the 747, it has to be said. Ad Fluit, tuning in from the Netherlands. Uh, Maurice van Eckervaart, um, uh, any plans to go back to Frankfurt? Yes, indeed, my friend, very soon. Uh, we have a show coming up in Munich where we're going to be doing a show with the, um, the uh, fire teams there. Um, so that's one that you need to look out for. Also, of course, um, we will be back indeed at Frankfurt in the near future. So uh, look out for, um, look out on our website basically to see uh, what's going on there. I think that might be a test flight actually for this uh, Air China 320 Neo um, because the um, anti collisions are on. And so it looks to me like she's going to be on a test flight. This may be even a delivery, you never know. Uh, because she's being pushed back from the delivery center. So this could be um, a handover flight. So it will be the Airbus test team um, along with uh, a designated Air China air crew. Um, Bikram Singh tuning in from Durban in South Africa. Good day to you. Smithy is on Facebook. <laughs> uh, Gwilat Shamwara tuning in from Ethiopia. Hello. Uh, Jan Zlezak. Um, this is a great event, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Well, it all makes it 
much more exciting by having you guys uh, here watching with us and giving uh, your comments as well. Um, Colin tuning in from Exmouth, great show, thank you very much indeed. Stephen Sean Young, um, he's giving a shout out to us for saying thanks for the shout out, so there we go. Um, welcome everybody watching on Facebook right now, Dylan Graham. Um, Vinzi uh, Alejandro, uh, Alej Alejandro, tuning in from Berlin. Good day to you. I'm just, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, folks, I'm just holding on this shot right now um, for the Air China Neo, and it is moving. So um, hold your comments. Let's uh, track this one and see where it goes. So I think what will happen is she will um, come towards us, do a right and taxi back down the runway for departure because obviously the departure is towards us. See those big, I think that's the leap engines possibly. Very distinctive, very easy to tell the, the um, Pratt & Whitney power plants. Okay, listen to it, let's just listen to it. Why is that? Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame, man. So there we go. She is indeed doing a right ski. Great looking livery, man. Nothing special pretty plain so that looks like that is the leap power plant leading edge what's that what are we talking about what are you talking about There is no beeping. <laughs> no, there's no one around me. I would hear that. I would hear that beep. And I would hear it coming. My phone is silenced as well. So what's interesting, uh, folks, that you will see um, short takeoff and landing uh, capabilities of this aircraft. Uh, she can use a very short runway, ideal for places like London City and uh, small airfields, intercity airfields. Can't be. There's nothing here that's got any. Uh, there's nothing here that's. Yeah. If it was a beep every four seconds, I'd understand it. But every four minutes, you can put up with that, can't you? If, especially as we. We can't, uh, let's just get on with the show, shall we? Lynn Jones tuning in from Chester. David Fairbottom, hello from uh, Alderley Edge. Good afternoon, great uh, great place, Alderley Edge. Loving that. Daniel Higgins, good day to you. Emma Funnel. Um, 
<laughs> me, for, me, Jerry, please. Uh, Nanda Mithra Dizilia, good afternoon to you. At Fluit. Graham Leggett, no beeping in Dublin. <laughs> so it's a bit of a long taxi, unless he uses, uh, unless he goes for uh, intersecting departure, which he might do if he turns left or he's going for full length. It might. Uh, I believe this is either a delivery flight or a um, handover flight. Darren Bell, Phil Gorman, Dave Watkinson. Uh, everyone's saying Kurt uh, Nielsen, no um, beeping. Oh, Kurt is in Madrid. Kurt is in Madrid. <laughs> Rob Carmen. And your Safuddin is watching. Good afternoon. Stephen Kettle. CA84. Uh, what's that? CA84. Wow. 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 Good afternoon. Everybody watching right now. Um, make sure that you, uh, if you're following, um, if you're following our uh, free view feed on on YouTube folks make sure that you subscribe to the channel we wouldn't want you to miss anything and I can assure you when you get your notification when you get your notification this uh, this Saturday morning uh, wherever you are in the world and you get to see the uh, the kind of action that you're gonna get to see um, at uh, Manchester Airport what's interesting don't forget folks these are all um, these are all aircraft that are, that are going out on commercial flights, but they would have been delivered from this very plant here. So uh, amazing to think that. But uh, I think um, Airbus are looking to break a few records, hopefully, on in terms of deliveries for 2019. Let's hope they do in their 50th year. Aaron uh, Van Coyle, good afternoon. Lee Palmieri, uh, tuning in from Melbourne, Australia. Good afternoon to you. Good evening. Good, uh, yes, good evening. Good morning, maybe even. <laughs> uh, Shay Ferrant saying, uh, doesn't she have a look of an Antonov? Uh, which one are we talking about here, my friend? Um, Taylor Robinson. Okay. Uh, Graham Leggett, that was Lufthansa Star Alliance to Munich. Thank you for that, Graham. Waskim Alzadi, good afternoon to you. Tuning in, Lil Lee Palmieri. Uh, it is evening there. Air China going out now. Shay Ferrin, yes, indeed. She's just turning on to the active right now. Now, this one will go up. Um, I'd imagine quite early because she does have uh, she'll probably have quite a decent amount of fuel on board because they'll be uh, flying out over the um, over the med just to um, test all the characteristics of the aircraft make sure everything's working properly Marianne uh, Vries Chunin from Switzerland. Good afternoon, Marianne. Jessica Brunton, 1905 here in Sydney, Australia. Wow, 7.05 p.m. Good afternoon to you, everybody out there in Australia. I know we have a huge uh, Australian following out there. Uh, so hashtag Aussie crew, as you guys always are. Alan Warren, Shay Ferron. Oh, right, okay, there we go. I see what you're saying now. Shay saying about the, um, here we go, the Air China livery looking a bit like Antonov. Okay, rightly so. So these engines sounding very much like mini, sort of like uh, high bypass turbofans, which they are. <laughs> 
but like the Trents or the GE90s. Here we go. So uh, track that one on flight radar, folks, and you'll probably find that she'll head out um, head out over to Med somewhere. Uh, Jay Want tuning in from India, uh, 1437, 237 in the afternoon. Good day to you. Um, Ilyas, uh, which airport? We are at Toulouse in France, my friend. Uh, right there from Dylan Ockerby. Thank you very much indeed. And Marie, Charlie Johnson, uh, loving it. You're so lucky, mate. I had a friend who was living in Blagna, uh, Dominique. Um, well, I've flown over here, my friend. Uh, I don't live here, um, but we do regular trips out here to Toulouse now. Looks like the fire department may be lining up to do something. I did see them testing earlier on um, with their hoses mm. um, with uh, possibly uh, some kind of a water salute. I think that it, they may be lining up down here um, to do something. I'm pretty sure they are. Which will be good. And I think they're going to be maybe uh, no, maybe not. So you can see, really filling up now, folks. Uh, lots and lots of cars parked up now. If, uh, if my friend who was uh, from um, Toulouse uh, was trying to find a parking spot earlier on, he's certainly not going to be able to do it now. And of course, they're all lined up over there as well on the hill. Of course, that wouldn't happen to Heathrow. They'd be moving everyone along. <laughs> Such a shame. Renia Corporal, good afternoon. Yvonne Westhazen, Westhazen. Uh, Yvonne van der Westhazen, sorry, from South Africa is tuning in. I should know that. I did live there for three years. Uh, Aaron van Coyle, uh, thank you to you as well. Andrea McGoyle, uh, I love it as well. Callum Graney, um, what are they going to do with the WOW 330s? Yes, indeed. Well, those WOW 330s, I think they are being returned to their respective lease company and uh, they will then be um, uh, leased out to other carriers. Of course, they are uh, 330 Neo variants as well. So, um, you know, probably early models, um, but even so... Oh, hello, bit of rain. Here we go. We have rain. Bang. Out of nowhere. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Well, it is raining now. It is raining. 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 It is Yes, so keep the uh, 
Zahid Khan asked, uh, just saying, nice camera. Well, to be honest with you, um, it's only a pretty standard VX1 Panasonic. We've always used Panasonic cameras here on Big Jet TV just because of the zoom capability. Air Marox uh, 737. Really? Yeah, I think it's just a, I think it's just a, I think it's just a sharp shower, yeah. What an absolute shower! Terry Thomas! Um, of course, uh, we are, um, we regularly get test flights out here at, um, at Toulouse. So, um, always, uh, always worth watching. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what I probably do need to do. Oh dear, oh dear, um, is maybe uh, disconnect and cover that. I don't think we're going to get anything to stand by. <coughs> What's that? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, that's, um, yeah, yeah, no, that's right, yeah, yeah. So, if you're just joining us, folks, welcome uh, to Big Jet TV. We are a live aviation channel, live twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays, sometimes on um, odd days as well, um, depending on um, scheduling for uh, airports, airlines, uh, manufacturers, etc. Um, but generally, a uh, midweek show and a Saturday show, um, like clockwork, have done for. Uh, is that an X Air Berlin 320 that's just touched there? Oh no, that's. Oh, is that louder air? Is that an old louder air or is that. Uh, Eurowings, sorry, with old Bear Berlin livery, sorry. My apologies. That would be a uh, that would be good if it was louder. Sure what's um Oh really? Oh so uh, so it's so it's Where's it, where's it headed then? Where's it actually going? So that Air China uh, 320 was actually a delivery flight, folks, it seems. Uh, Mana uh, VRV tuning in from Laos. Good day to you, Tony Bagman. Uh, yes, uh, Malaparam uh, tuning in and saying hello to Colin. Sydney House is watching. Good day to you. Uh, Hans Petter Fuchs. Uh, two planes at the moment on the rear of Mars, say 319 and 350. Now, we definitely do appear to have um, something's definitely going to be going on down there with the fire department um, putting themselves in position no there is definitely some lining up going on there Dylan Oak Okerby saying um, Okerby sorry Dylan Okerby saying you can't believe the weather's actually better in Manchester for once <laughs> A man, Rowat, giving a shout out to anybody from Turkey. Um, good day to everybody watching on Periscope, of course. Uh, keep the comments coming, folks. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, it was all gone by the time I got round the other side, so I don't know what it was. I don't know what it. Um, whether it was uh, 
whether it happened on the airport side or whether it was perhaps uh, maybe something in the, you know, in the fields the other side. Tony Bagman, that uh, Eurowings and ex uh, Czech Airlines. Thanks for that, mate. Uh, Mohammed uh, Amat Khan, I can't see Air Mauritius. Well, um, you can if you have a little look here, my friend. Just over the back there, you can just see the tip of her tail. That's uh, Air Mauritius A330 900, I believe. She was in the ETOPS Centre earlier on, which is uh, where those aircraft are right now. Um, getting the ETOPS configured. Air China, 330, 300. Uh, Chantel Bryan, uh, channel member Chantel Bryan. Oh, okay, so Chantel Bryan. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, sorry, I thought it was moving. Before Big shout-out to Chantel, who's over uh, to the UK for a couple of weeks. Of course, uh, big shout out to all the channel members as well. Okay, uh, Al Disley, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, ETOPS is a bit of a difficult one to explain, but um, ETOPS is basically um, the system that controls uh, how far an aircraft can fly um, with the loss of an engine. So um, that's that's the simplistic way of describing it, I believe. So obviously, um, if you are, uh, it's 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 to control where the nearest airfield is if you're flying on one engine. For example, if you lose an engine, um, it's it's it gets it, it gets configured. You what's that, GP? All oh, right. Another Rwandan uh, 330 over the back there, the TAPs. Still no engines. What's that? Just uh, is that a Swiss just landed? I see. No. No, it is Turkish. Someone was actually asking for Turkish just now. Um, 737. I think she's an 800, isn't she, or is that a seven? It's an 800. Ryanair, do what? Oh, Lionair, right. We had that last time, didn't we? <laughs> French hair. Billy Turret, yes, LATAM. Uh, you can see LATAM over there as well. As well as Delta in the uh, in the background over there, that's uh, Latam 350 by the looks of it. Just just looking at her, uh, looking at the wingtips. Oh, is it not? Oh, okay. Well, that's my that's that's my bad. I didn't realise it wasn't hardware. I thought I thought it was. Uh, I know there is a regulation for ETOPS, but you have to still um, configure the aircraft for ETOPS. Surely, um, that's what we were told last time. That it was apparently that is where the ETOPS is uh, collab uh, uh, calibrated. Apparently. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You, you are certified for ETOPS. Um, like, for example, the current. The um, currently the um, uh, Dreamliner fleet with the um, with the Trent 1000s that are having their issues have had to be recertified. Uh, Etops. 
just because of the fact that if they lose an engine, then they, uh, they've had to fly over the top, I believe. They're not doing the a direct uh, um, Atlantic route. They have to do the North Atlantic route and over the top uh, so that if they do lose an engine, obviously they can make it to an airfield within a certain specific time or distance. I believe that's all linked to air, uh, ETOPS. Uh, Marcus uh, Gula, thank you. Um, Swiss are not flying. They do not fly into Toulouse. Thanks for that, mate. Shafi Mirza. No PIA, I'm afraid, my friend. Ron Harris, thank you. Uh, Billy Turret saying LATAM seems to be doing quite well. Yeah, well, we see her in... Oh, that's, that's a shame. I thought for a minute I saw the uh, anti-collisions on the... Um, on the China Eastern 350 there, but it was just a emergency vehicle going behind it. <laughs> so everybody waiting patiently now. Now you can see the back end of that uh, A380. Not a great deal of um, aircraft testing going on today. I don't know if that's a, the reason is, is because of the uh, um, it's a bit of movement, aircraft movement, but nothing uh, other than that, no flight testing per se, which is what we're used to seeing when we come here to Toulouse, of course. Um, we see touch and goes, we see uh, rejected takeoffs, brake tests, um, caught flight tests, handovers, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, very, very possibly, yeah. Yes, indeed. Very possibly. That's a shame about um, Twitter, isn't it? Ah, oh, scroll for old comments. Oh, okay. Uh, Mohammed um, is enjoying it a lot. Welcome to Satish Triple Seven. Uh, Rodney, 6:50 p.m. Wednesday evening, Sydney time. Uh, these are people all on Periscope right now. Uh, AS Fum, um, thank you very much indeed. Repeat. Okay, we don't know about that. Will you be broadcasting from PAS and which day? Uh, not sure about that ATC network. Um, Papa Alpha Sierra. Welcome, Alba Math. Uh, first day on Periscope. Good day to you. Uh, Airbus Red is back in the house. Um, Chicago Midway, real small airport. Well, that's the uh, ideal sort of scenario for uh, the likes of the um, the Neo variants. Oh, is it? Um, PH Druno, uh, when are they arriving? Uh, a Boeing, not an Airbus from somebody else there. Um, hopefully within the next uh, 30 minutes, I'd imagine, folks. Hopefully uh, you've got enough time to catch it. Of course, uh, don't forget you'll be able to watch it later on uh, the channel if you want. Okay, Malcolm Rouse, ETOPS 180 example means that if an engine failure, it's, it's got suitable airfield, maximum 180 minutes, three hours away. Well, there we go. Hello, mate. Right. <laughs> How's it going, man? Better watching it live. <laughs> Do you want a sticker, mate? Do you want a sticker? I always give uh, a Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> hey. I watched the takeoff uh, in your life. Uh, oh, did you? Yes. <laughs> ah, you watched cool. the takeoff? No. Oh. Cheers, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Take it easy, fella. <laughs> nice, polite young lad. Hello from Germany, Reza Bittervesh. Good afternoon to you. Right, I'm going to jump over and say hello to our uh, channel members right now on Big Jet TV. Let's have a little shout out, Max. Good day to you. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's get the comments going on uh, channel members. These are 
uh, channel members on Big Jet TV, folks. Air Canada 787 and Asiana A350. Eurowings Czech Airlines just giving a shout out to that. Adam Hogan, good afternoon to you. Stephen Owers, Shake Shaft, Stevie McGuinness, Darren Emerton. I retired from the Navy after 35 years when I realised I didn't really like ships. Fantastic. Uh, Margarita, I just saw you there. Uh, B Cal Pam, Stevie McGuinness, Phil Loxham, Debbie Speller. Um, all you guys, uh, Darren Emerton, Frank Sorp. Um, giving a shout out on ETOPS, etc., etc. Thank you very much indeed for all your updates. NHS, uh, sad to me, um, Stephen Owers. Um, not sure what that's about. I'm just catching up. Just hard to keep up. Benny Bacon, good afternoon to you. Um, very, very difficult to uh, keep up with the comments here. Um, I can't, I literally cannot keep up with the comments. I just have to wait for it to get down to the bottom and then I'll have to uh, scroll up myself. Good afternoon and good day to you, Gary. Gareth Harwood, Stephen O is Ian Austin, Dibby is in the house all the way from Leeds, Mario Sultana, good afternoon, uh, Stevie McGuinness, Yo-Yo May, Kurt Langreth, um, Beers 723 tuning in from Maryland on Periscope, good day to you, Ian Austin, uh, yes indeed, it's always a sticker giveaway, if I, uh, if I don't run out that is, we do have a new um, batch of stickers, that we managed to get in so uh, if any of you ever meet up with me uh, on my travels make sure you come up and say hello and I will be happy to give you a sticker Neil Tattersall um, let's just see what he was uh, Debbie Speller yes indeed let's uh, hope the weather does behave Ian Austin Joanne Brown Scott Mc uh, McCorslin, uh, morning from Kilcaldy, Jerry and Chile. Good afternoon to you, my friend Jamie Bottenley, Andrew McClure, Colin Bracker, Claire West. So we're all waiting in anticipation for. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I have to be honest with you, folks. It would work better for me if the sun didn't come out, only because. If it, does, if it did, it would be right in my face and be a little bit difficult to pick up the, um, pick up the aircraft. So with a little bit of contrast, cloud behind, let's just have a little look here. Let's see if we can pick up. Um, so there is the... Uh, <laughs> What's that? Oh. Yeah, you have to physically come and see me, folks, uh, <laughs> if you want a sticker. <laughs> Potpourri? <laughs> Could, uh... So cloud is uh, breaking up a little bit. People are um, starting to uh... little CRJ. Yeah, folks, don't forget, if you're watching on the Freeview channel right now on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Uh, it's really important that you do. And I'm only saying that because I don't want you to miss out on anything. Um, put your notifications on as well. It's really important that if you, uh, if you subscribe to the, the channel, you put your notifications on as well.
Wow, this is a big turnout. This is a mega turnout. I mean, uh, this is a lot of people here. Alan Jiggins saying that they've all come to see the old banger. <laughs> they've only come to see her, look. That is the old banger. Have a deep look inside those uh, beautiful Trent 7s. Carbon blades. But there's nothing like the XWB. I think it's a carbon blade on the uh, revised uh, Trent 7. Maybe still titanium, I'm not sure, but they're so big, these uh, these blades now, it's more than likely that that is a carbon blade, I would have said. Cool, cool that was a bit of a hot kill illusion. Looked like, it looked like he dented the, uh, the, um, the engine nacelle there. Looked like it had a dented nacelle. Look, look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> Multi pause, good afternoon to you. Okay, we need to go live on that battery. Uh, who's this uh, giving us a shout out to uh, Saddam Juan? Um, Good afternoon to everybody watching on Periscope, Facebook and YouTube right now. YouTube um, channel members, Matt52, I'm getting worried I might miss the fly past as I have to go out in about 45 minutes. Oh mate, that's not good. Uh, well I'll tell you what, they did say around about midday, so we are getting towards it now. It's half past, it's half past 11 in, the, in France, um, so um, there's every chance that uh, you will, uh, you will see it. Do we have any uh, update on their whereabouts? Wow. Wow, that's a big format. Surprised they took that much fuel out with them as well. Fella, isn't it? Who aim on coffee? Who aim on coffee? Who aim on cafetiere? Graham Bessie, good afternoon from a sunny Norfolk. Mike Payne is in the house. John Hughes, Debbie Speller, Darren Taylor, good morning to you. Dora Gerber. All our uh, channel members right there on Big Jet TV. And of course, hello to everybody watching on Facebook as well. Uh, Billy Turret asking, A380 still being built? Big question mark over that. Uh, no is the answer to that. Um, I think that they have, um, that they are literally um, uh, pausing production of the A380, uh, certainly over, um, the, the plan is that there are no more A380s that are, uh, that are being ordered. Uh, they may have still some uh, aircraft that are due to be built. Kapil Bat Wiltshire is in which country? Um, Wiltshire is in the UK my friend and a beautiful part of the country it is. Lee Reeves, good afternoon. John Edge, uh, Giles Williams, Jackson Ha, E190, that was obviously referring to that uh, Embraer that just went out with KLM. Kapil Bat Leanne Kehoe. Um, it's a shame that uh, one uh, 
airline that we will not see here with the uh, with their livery on the 350 is uh, KLM. Great shame. Would look pretty fantastic. Shame didn't g at least give the uh, 330 Neo a go, to be honest with you. Uh, they've got quite a few old 330s and, of course, uh, quite a few old 777s, but I guess they're uh, replacing those with uh, Dreamliner. And, uh, hello, what's going on down there? Oh, these guys are waiting for something. It's imminent, folks. They've rolled out. Looks like... Uh, They did say noon, yeah. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> uh, Nancy Johnson from Joliet, Illinois. I believe that is. I L Chris Gray, uh, uh, fr hi from Bonnie Scotland. Chris calling. Good day to you, Kazim uh, Jackoy, Pakistan. Good afternoon to you, Kapil Bat. Uh, shout now, Rich Torb is in the house. Torb Meister. There you go, folks. Um, anybody uh, watching there on Freeview right now? Uh, Rich Torb is an A330 pilot. Um, skippered many of the variants, of course, uh, 200 and 300, I believe. Um, knows them both well flies into Heathrow every now and then as well so uh, always good to see uh, Rich Torb turning up with American Airlines one of our residents on Big Jet TV hello to you my friend Vito Archina loving it Chris Gray um, couple back to Jet Airways um, something about Jet Airways uh, whatever it is, it's a great shame that uh, Jet Airways is another airline that uh, has gone to the wall, I'm afraid. I miss it for one, flying into Heathrow. Many good times with Jet Airways, it's 777, of course they're uh, A330-200 uh, that used to fly into Manchester. Wow, 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 Shame, that's another airline that went to the wall. Yes, nothing moving. So after the um, display, uh, or should I say the fly past, hopefully um, we'll see a bit more movement on the ground. Uh, for our uh, channel members to enjoy. There's a beautiful bit of flight right there. Red kite, I think. He came up here earlier on. Now that isn't a kite. I think that's a buzzard. I'm not sure. I'm, I always get it wrong. <laughs> always get it wrong. Got it wrong again, Dad. What's that? Foy Woodland is watching. Good afternoon, Foy. Hope you're well. Ron Harris, uh, lovely aircraft. Megs Thompson, hello. Capil Bat. Uh, do some shout outs, Galaxy 993. Right there on um, uh, Evan fifty six giving us a uh, a link there right there on um, on uh, Twitter or on um, 
Yeah, it seems like it's uh, definitely a lot of st stuff going on. <laughs> John Edge tuning in from Bolton. Good afternoon to you, John. The boy uh, Carafdes, the kite is here to film the whole man-made birds. Ha <laughs> ha! Tarim Chowdhury. Yeah, well, uh, Tarim, uh, uh, Tamim, sorry, uh, Chowdhury. Um, interesting what, that you say that. That's more than likely what they're doing. The lease, the um, leasing company. Um, obviously has got to put those aircraft back on their books and um, put them out for for lease. John Wiles, good afternoon to you. Pauline Angel, hello from behind you. Pauline Angel, who's Pauline Angel? Someone's behind me. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Julia Bill Byrne still got the buzzing. <laughs> I don't know, Julia. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know. Capil Bat, good afternoon. Adam Green. Uh, two easy jets in the background. Yes, uh, it's a regular spot for easy jet. And uh, those particular aircraft would have been. Um, delivered from this very airfield, funny enough. So really filling out now, really filling out now. It's getting uh, it's getting double bu double bubble down there in the parking lot. It's getting pretty crazy down there. Lots and lots of people. Lots and lots of people. I'm not going to ask them to wave anymore because I don't wave. I'm not interested in waving. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. Ouvre le potre. Dawn de voiture. Le Ballet Rouge, Pommes Frites, okay, uh, Shay Ferret, giving a shout out to her group, Shay, hello, how are you doing? Okay, Paul Ashley, 319 and 351,000 over Balearic Sea and Big Jet TV is now Spring watch. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. Yeah, I thought that's what you meant, Paul. Um, not yo, bro, <laughs> and all that. David Gore, good afternoon to you, John Wiles. Yeah, well, we're hoping to bring you a little bit more action, but uh, as it stands at the moment, we're uh, we're still. <laughs> Here comes the rain again. Raining on my head like a memory. Like a new emotion. Okay. That's all cool. That's all cool. There's no problem. People. <laughs> 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 Well, there's the first of the. Uh... 
Okay, that's very that's very kind. You see, now that wouldn't happen in England. There's this fella here. He's just he's he's a very. Oh, sorry, sorry, Shay. Did I? I'm sorry. Sorry, Shay. Me old son. <laughs> He's an Irish lad. Sorry about that, Shay. Oh no. <laughs> right, they're making their way back now, folks. Peel Bat loves Evas. Well, I'm sure that uh, all um, AV geeks out there, or aviation fans, whichever way you like to uh, describe yourself, have your own uh, personal preference when it comes to uh, particular airlines uh, and um, aircraft manufacturers, of course. Personally, I like them all. Okay. Uh, Mike Mockby tuning in from Minnesota. Oh, look at that, look at that. See him pick up a few morsels. That's how to use your wings. Oh, hello.
Wow, look at all the people on the banks, man. Look at that. That's all the. Uh, that's why nobody's doing any work today. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Look at that. Yeah. Well, they bloody deserve it, man. Good, good, well done, Airbus, man. That's what the helicopter's doing, isn't it? He's uh, he's doing a panoramic. Now he's going to do a, he's going to do a shuffle all the way down there, I think. If you shout, if I shout out, here it comes now, really loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so nice, man. I really feel really happy to be here, man. And also to be able to bring this to uh, all these thousands of people, and literally, it's thousands of people watching right now, man. It's one thing I noticed actually uh, driving on the French freeway on the motorways out here um, how polite people are uh, and they generally don't hug the middle lane uh, like if, like so many people do in the UK um, and it almost uh, seems that uh, that is the case here with people just generally being polite you know no one's come you know in the UK they'd probably be about you know, 15, 20 people stood in front of me, um, you know, blocking my view. But uh, no, no, we're uh, we're very, very fortunate. Very fortunate. So another positive uh, thing to come from the French, from Europeans in general. Just, uh... Maybe it is a holiday. Maybe they prefer. Maybe they're going to give everybody the afternoon off. Um, I doubt it, though. I doubt it, though. Um, hoping that we're going to see some more action this afternoon. Certainly got long enough to uh, to stay here and bring you guys more action. Yeah, that's the carbon 350, isn't it? The carbon uh, livery XWB. That's the one that we saw flying at. Um... At uh, ILA Berlin. Now, he might be coming back to get another shot of us up here because earlier on when he buzzed us uh, there weren't many of us up here I think he might be coming up to uh, to buzz the crowd here on the hillside so get ready for a big wave folks looks like he's headed our way oh maybe not. <laughs> got a bit excited there I don't know though 
Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, no. Go on, Sam. Activity going on. Do you remember that? Right? Yeah, yeah. Go on, Jimmy. Go on, run, run, Jimmy, run. Capil bat. Uh, you don't understand. Okay, underst I, I understand that you don't understand, Capil. <coughs> Capil, this is a uh, 50th anniversary for Airbus uh, in France. We are in France. We are live. And um, John Carley, good afternoon. <coughs> Thierry Cledes, um, don't understand that, my friend. Um, what event, maybe, you're asking here? Airbus, uh, 50 years old, my friend. Um, this is uh, the 50th anniversary of Airbus's uh, achievements in um, creating highly efficient aircraft throughout the ages. Bonjour to you, Salmonette. There we go. Uh, Gwislaine uh, today is... Uh, is uh, confirming that for our French friend. Oscar is tuning in from Argentina and it's 7 a.m. Good day to you. Rob Cartman. Okay, Rob Cartman says, uh, looks like 319 and 350 are forming up to the south of us. Aaron Van Cool, 10 minutes. Uh, reckon around about 10 minutes is the ETA. So, here we go. Now, of course, don't forget, folks, that as soon as this is over, um, this entire area will be clear of people. It will be a mass exodus, literally. Um, and then we'll be on our own with our uh, channel members uh, to enjoy the rest of the afternoon in peace and harmony. Blimey, bloke's going to get a big flashbulb out in a minute, eh? <laughs> wow, proper old school. <laughs> Couple of old Victorian people standing in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> that's a piece of equipment that is that's a very expensive piece uh tim clark what are we expecting to see the airbus uh fly past my friend led by don't forget of course the french um the french equivalent of the red arrows a display team um with the Dassault dornier alpha jet um that is from patrouille de france which is the PAF, uh, so that is their display team, and they, the aircraft are going to be led by them, so there will no doubt be um, a uh, stream of kerosene that they use to uh, colour strips that they use, like they do with the red arrows, red, white and blue perhaps, not sure, uh, and of course um, 
followed by the three, the A220, 319, 330 Neo, uh, 350, uh, the A380, and the Beluga, of course. So uh, what format they're going to be in, whether they're going to be in a straight line, I'm not sure. But uh, even so, it should be quite interesting. And I hope you all enjoy it. Jay Lee, thank you very much indeed. Very professional. Oh, don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Must be listening to another channel. Uh, but no, thank you very much indeed. Um, Thierry uh, Cledes asking how many degrees. Uh, I think it's cold, he says. Well, you're not far off wrong there, my friend. Um, yes, it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's not warm, but uh, it's manageable, put it that way. It's manageable is the best way to describe it. So we're just waiting at the moment. Uh, just give you guys another little look. It's just Ramo, everywhere there's a possible space. It's absolutely chocker block here right now, look. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Do you mind if I nip down there quickly and get a coffee? <laughs> has he been there ages, has he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but I bet they haven't got a coffee machine, a proper coffee machine. Probably got that horrible. Well, yeah, I know, but, but well, no, no, to be honest with you, no, I know. <laughs> I know, it's not, is it? <laughs> it's not, is it? Dream. Wow! Every literally ten seconds, I get a notification on my phone saying that there's a there's a Twitter and you to follow her on Twitter. Nice. Stuart Jones, my kids aren't happy with me and my wife because we were meant to be going swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart James is in the doghouse. Thierry Cleeds, a lot of people on the tarmac. That's well French, yes. Indeed it is. Um, this kind of thing just doesn't happen, you know. It only happens in Europe. It just doesn't happen in, in England, I have to say. The, the, the closest you'll get is a, is a water salute. Um, they've done it at Manchester. They've done it at, uh, at, at um, Stansted, you know, um, and I'm sure they've done it at Heathrow. Um, but even now, you know, they're like, oh, we can't do a water slew anymore because one time we used it and the foam got in the engines and they, they weren't happy because they had to clean the engines out. Well, fair enough, fair enough, I understand that. Don't use foam, use water. It's quite simple. Anyway, whatever. Um, uh, okay, uh, Shay Ferrin, they're lined up. Thanks, mate. Uh, Mohammed uh, Amak Khan asking if we've got any Air Mauritius taking off. Not at the moment, my friend. We might have some air tests this afternoon. So if you want to stay tuned, then um, uh, we will be live with all of our uh, channel members um, for the rest of the day this afternoon, uh, live from Toulouse. Uh, and of course, if you, if you want to join us again, uh, you are more than welcome to join us on Saturday. We will be live from Manchester. So um, make sure you tune in then and um, catch all the action. Wow. Wow. That's pretty nuts. Amen. 
It's a very big tree in the back. Oh, no, it's not. It's, I was going to say, from here, from the, it just looks like a very big tree, but it's not. It's obviously a mast. Um, but anyway, uh, ignore that. So we're just waiting for them now to, obviously, the cloud cover is still quite low. I'd say a uh, broken cloud around about 500 feet at the lowest point. That cloud there is around about 500 feet, I think. Benji Mansell Jenkins. Uh, what's that? What's that? The Facebook. But, well, can we tell members Facebook to go over to Freeview, but while we change it over? Is that worth doing? Okay, guys, uh, everybody, all channel members, channel members on Facebook right now, can you nip over to uh, Facebook Freeview? Um, we're just going to switch over because we've done, we've reached the uh, the um, terminal velocity on Facebook, which is, what is it, three hours, GP? Uh, four hours. We've reached four hours on, um, on, on Facebook. So uh, we want to make sure that uh, you get the whole feed. So nip over to Freeview right now on Facebook um, if you're on Facebook channel membership and then once we've got that back up and running again we'll give you a shout and you can nip back over there so hope that's okay come on and say hello to me I'm on there right now uh, good morning uh, Lucas tuning in from Montreal uh, Callum Craney seen the A350 1000 get moved this morning yes indeed um, <laughs> all parked off down behind those sheds so we're just changing channel membership uh, refreshing it basically so just bear with us folks Emrys Davis good morning uh, I think these are Ryan Arbuckle how are you doing right Ryan Arbuckle I haven't spoke to you for a while good to see you in here my friend um, there's the uh, Ryan giving us the uh, the weather radar there. Ken Carr is watching. Jeff Courtier, uh, Chris Clark tuning in from Darwin, Australia. Hashtag Aussie Crew. Good afternoon and good evening. Good morning to you. Um, well, uh, Pierre Holler asking if we're going to be doing the um, uh, uh, live stream for the Triple Seven X. Uh, first flight. Well, that's something we would love to do, obviously, um, and something that we're certainly looking into doing. Looking in, uh, we're also planning our first trip out to the US, which will be an elite, um, sorry, channel membership only stream, and that's going to be going out uh, to Boston, Massachusetts. Daniel Blatch, yes, indeed. It was a funny looking tree. It was just from the oh, okay. What's this? Uh, what's this in the in the mega, mega, mega distance here? Uh, so far that I probably won't be able to pick it up. There is something. Okay, is it? Okay. Okay, Facebook uh, channel members can head back to uh, channel membership on Facebook folks we've renewed it for you uh, this is a Dassault Falcon apparently on approach that's not the lead aircraft is it the uh, the chase aircraft that they call it Mikey van der Aaron good afternoon to you Andy Gibson and a shed load more oh. Don't forget, guys, if uh, if you want to check out our store, we have um, a decent uh, array of merchandise in our store at BigJet.TV. Basically, is uh, where you want to head is to BigJet.TV to find out everything you need to know about what we do at Big Jet TV. Um, most importantly, make sure you sign up to or, or at least uh, subscribe to the Freeview channel on YouTube um, so you can get your fill of Freeview aviation action twice a week on Big Jet TV. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. We have flashing lights. This is it, folks. This is it. Oh, this is the uh, this is the display team. Yeah. 
Okay, nothing yet. Don't you worry about it. Oh, that's a fact. They've gone back out. Okay, so apparently the uh, the fly past group has uh, turned. <laughs> it's not one of the players, but <laughs> to let you know, uh, just keeping you uh, keeping you entertained with as much uh, aviation action as we can.